Hi guys, for today's GMM adventure, we're going for traditional English food, pie and mash. Let's eat a Goda. Woo! Goda at Greenwich is a small and very popular traditional English pie and mash shop. This family-run business offers very affordable pies, which are put on display to attract the hungry passerby. The interior is very simple and functional. On the overhead menu, a few types of pies are on offer as well as a short list of beverages. Place your order at the counter, choose your sauce, watch it being assembled before your eyes, and pick it up within seconds. We are at Godard's and we order what they do best, pie and mash. I've got some chili beef pie and mash and nicely topped with nice warm gravy. It just looks amazing. You can see here two nicely shapely bowls of mash. Mm. And they're covered swimming in gravy sauce. Look at that. The thing is still steamy. It's like piping hot. Freshly served. Mm. Look at that sauce. Just the right consistency. Looks amazing. Let's try the mash and the gravy. Mm. That's a very good, very, very good gravy. It really tastes amazing. The mash as well is very good, very tasty. All of it is very savory. I'm pretty sure it will go very well with the pie. Let's see what's inside this nicely looking pie. Oh, you can see the crust. It's breaking nice and easy. Look at that. See the chili beef here. Can't wait to dig in. <laughs> well, let me remove the comment about nice and easy crust to break. <laughs> it's very crispy though. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm trying to get some bit of filling and a bit of the crust over there. And Really good. Mm. Mm. The feeling tastes amazing. Mm. The beef is very well flavored. Mm. Not dry at all. I just love it. I just love any like dishes that have lots of sauces. It's like it just tastes the best. And the crust, the knife you guys heard, but so 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 crispy. And the beef is very flavorful. And let's put some extra gravy on it and a little bit of mash. Now that's the best mouthful you can ever get. Let's try this ultimate bite. Mm. It goes very well together. Mm. The smoothness of the mash, the sauce and the savoriness of the, of the gravy, as well as the crispiness of the crust and the very, very savory filling up the beef. All this combination together, just wonderful. And little British got it right in terms of cuisine for this one. Ooh, I'm having a Christmas leftover pie. The lovely lady at the bar uh, offered me to have the Christmas turkey one. So I say, hey, why not? So I'm having a turkey pie with mashed potato and leek sauce. Leek sauce is a porcy sauce. It looks very, very rich as well, very thick. Some nice fresh meat. Mashed potato. Mm. It's a good mashed potato. Mm. You have big bits, chunks of potatoes there. It's not all smooth. Mm. Nice, very nice. The liquid sauce has a very parsley taste, so let's dig into this beautiful Christmas leftover pie. Oh, so what do we have in there? We have turkey, it's like a bit of stuffing from the turkey. Oh, and some nice crust. Yeah, eating with a knife. I like to eat dangerously. Mm. It's Christmas all over in my mouth. Mm. 
Mm. Usually I don't really like chocolate for Christmas, but since you have all the flavors, you have the stuffing, yeah. This one has a little bit of pigs in blanket. Mm. Nice. And it's worth the money. It's about five, five quid per, per, per plate. Mm. And the crust is flaky, crispy. It's a nice one. Mm. It's not too heavy. It's not too dense. It's very airy. Ah, I love it. Oh, let's get some more of this stuffing. Just the stuffing this time. And I'm going to add some vanilla sauce. Wow. Wow. Mm. 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 Nice. For my pie, I have the chili beef. But to be fair, I don't really feel the chili. Mm. Spiciness is a tiny bit there, but I don't think that's enough for me. So, what they have, which is pretty good, is this chili vinegar. So, I will try to add some drops on it and see how it goes. A tiny little bite. Couple of drops. Couple, huh? Yeah, couple. <laughs> and let's try this one now. Yep. Yep, that's the chili. Right there. I think I'm going to put it all over the place. Mm. <laughs> it's really best with the chili. You know, up your little game a little bit. Not spicy enough. When I want chili beef, I want chili. <laughs> so I heard there was chili vinegar. Ooh. Come here, my love. Oh, need to get a nice little piece. Oh, some more stuffing. And a few drops of pork potion, aka chili vinegar. <laughs> mm. I'm not really feeling the chili. Let's try again. Mm. So, I, I definitely can feel the, the vinegar, not the chili though. Some love potion. Yeah, drenched in vinegar. Mm. Mm. Now I can feel it. Mm. Mm. Better. On top. I like this. We finished our pies and mash at Goddard's and we still have some. We're still feeling a bit hungry and there's the street food market just uh, over there, so let's get some more food. A few steps from Goddard's is the Greenwich Market and its street food stalls. Ooh. We're in Greenwich Market and I got some arancini di riso, I think it's how they call it. It's a bowl of rice, deep fried and covered in melted cheese. Oh, and it's stuffed with salami and chopped uh, peppers. <laughs> I love cheese, I love rice, I love fried stuff, it takes all the boxes. Mm. I don't have to find it, it's different, it's the first time I'm having this, oh, I love this, mainly because of the cheese and the fried stuff. Mm. Uh, the outside is likely coated with what looks like breadcrumbs. Mm, a deep fried. Oh, yeah. Mm, nice bit of salami. Ah. Mm. Not too bad. £4.50, a bit expensive, but satisfying. Good. We stumbled upon the stores that were selling some hot juice. It was the first time I'd ever seen that before. Actually, I thought it was like mulled wine or mulled cider inside these huge cauldrons. Actually, it's just hot juice. And this is how it is being served. It looks like a cup of soup, but it's so nice and warm and it feels really good in this cold weather. At 3 95 you do get, you know, money worth. Mm. This one is an apple and rhubarb hot juice and it tastes really, really good. It's not too sweet, it's warm. Just fills you up inside and makes you all warm and fuzzy.
little dessert, a Portuguese pastel and nata, which is a very flaky pastry filled with egg custard. Mm, it's lovely. Mm, not too sweet. Very creamy on the inside. Mm. It's very indulgent, I like it. Wow. It's cold, but I think if you would put it in the microwave for a few seconds, it would be even better, a little bit warm. But very good, very good. That's it for today's Yum Yum Adventure Garret. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll make sure to come back to Greenwich because some of the street food looks amazing. We'll be back and eat. I think they have some soft shell crab burgers here. Mm. Lovely. See you later, guys. Peace. Bye. Thanks for watching this adventure. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like and let us know how we did in the comments below. Consider subscribing to our channel to not miss our next adventures. We post a new video every Wednesday.